What's up guys, McFar from Creative 2 here again to talk about something else this year. And this year we're gonna talk about you just started a business and you need a website, but you don't have the funds to hire someone like me to get started. So you have a small budget, but you need help figuring out what website builder do I use? So I'm gonna answer that question for you today. I'm gonna to recommend four website builders that you can use to start building your website. Now keep in mind that when you build your own website, it's gonna take a lot of time and there is gonna be a learning curve, especially if you've never built a website before. But I'm gonna help you at least decide which one is the easiest to use, which was the most affordable, and finally, maybe which one you can get more creative with. So let's go into that now. All right guys, so we're inside of Wix and I just wanted to give you an inside look of what it looked like. So I'm pretending that I'm gonna build a website for myself and this is the Wix website builder. Right off the back, I can tell you that if you've never used a website builder um, or you've never built a website before, there is a learning curve to it. Um, but if you have the time to spend reading you know articles by Wix and watching some tutorials to learn how to use this website builder um, you'll most likely um, get through it and win the battle all right so um, you have tons of uh, options here obviously I'm not gonna go into building a website with Wix but I just wanted to kind of show you what the website builder looked like so just just to let you know it's a great website builder overall once you get a uh, once you get used to it um, and once you um, learn how to use it um, it's very drag and drop so you can just click in here and change what it says it comes you know Wix comes with tons of templates that you can use so that you can brand it more to you, right? So that you can have something more unique. Now, if you end up using the, you know, the pictures and you end up using um, the fonts and everything that's stock with a template, you might end up looking like someone else or your website might look identical to, some, to someone else's. So whenever you're using these website builders and whenever you're using a template from them, I suggest that you modify them as much as you can. So pretty much what that means is kind of use your own pictures, um, change up the font, you know, don't use the stock font. Um, you know, change the layout a little bit, which you can do through here, um, and change the colors, make it fit you, you know, stuff like that. But overall, um, I, you know, Wix is a great website builder for your first website. And I have nothing negative to say other than there's a learning curve. If you've never built a website before, it might be a little bit hard to use, but if not, I highly recommend it. Um, and I know that you will enjoy it if you're looking into building your own website. So here's another really cool feature about Wix in general. Um, something that could be missing from the other website builders that I will mention. Um, I think Wix is more similar to WordPress where it has um, these additional things that you can add to your website, right? So um, if I go over here to add apps, it's going to uh, pop up the Wix app market, which has tons of different things that you can add to your website, which I honestly think um, is one of the, um, the most powerful um, features of Wix because um, say that you're building a website and you want to integrate chat, right? So let's say you want a live chat on your website, right? Um, you're a marketing agency and you wanna be able to reach people. Or maybe um, you're selling a certain product and you wanna be able to give them support, right? So if we go here, we open up the chat um, category, there's tons of uh, different uh, cool, uh, apps that you can use. So let's say you wanted to add Wix chat, right? Chat with the uh, site visitors anytime, anywhere. You literally can get a freer premium version. Now that's the, that's the downfall though. So there's pros and there's cons. So the con is that you're going to spend extra money every month to add these um, apps to your Wix. So if you're under a budget, you know, this might be a premium feature that you might not be able to add now, but you could add later once your, you know, your, your marketing budget or your website budget goes a little bit, um, expands a little bit, right? So, um, but just note that there's so many apps that you can use. Again, that's the pro. The con is you're going to 
pay extra fees every month or on a yearly basis and it could add up if you are on a budget for it. And finally, the last thing that I will mention about Wix, it's going into their um, their cost, the cost of using Wix. Okay, so one of my, <laughs> my main pet peeves is when I see someone using the free version of Wix and I get it, okay, um, some of us really aren't gonna have the funds for it, but come on it's 11 okay so the cheapest one here right it's 11 dollars a month guys please spend 11 dollars a month for your brand new small business okay it's it's 11 bucks you can afford that plan i hate to see websites being built with wix and then there's a big huge like uh, you know, add at the at the corner that says this website was built with Wix because when you get the free version, right? Because they have the whole, hey, start your free website and use us and it's free and it goes live and there's this big uh, Wix advertisement on the side and it lets me know that you are not paying for Wix, okay? You know, just for brand purposes, steer away from that. Pay the $11 a month. I know you can afford that. If you're getting into business, you might as well put the money into it. Um, and the second thing is, if you don't pay for a premium version, you're going to be using a weird domain name, something like wix.com slash your business name, okay? Spend the 15 bucks on a legit domain name, okay? Go to, uh, you know, use Wix. Wix comes with you know, um, the free domain for a year, as you can see here with $11 a month too. So there's really no reason for you not to have your own domain name. So for example, www.yourbusiness.com and paying $11 a month, okay? I'm just here to help you grow and to give you a reality check that you, I, if you're gonna use Wix, you might as well get the premium plan. So let's go into the prices though. Okay, so you got the personal use one, it's 11 bucks a month. It's a great way to start, okay? It removes the Wix ad that I was talking about and you get your free domain for a year, all right? Spend the money. Um, second, it's unlimited for entrepreneurs and, uh, entrepreneurs and freelancers, 14 bucks a month. Um, obviously, your storage gets bigger. You're you get unlimited bandwidth. So pretty much what this means is, uh, for example, if you have like 100 photos and you're not reducing the size or something, three gigabytes isn't gonna be enough. Okay, you, you're gonna need 10 gigabytes. Let's just say like that. Anything that you add or you upload to the website, that's your storage, right? So um, you really gotta think about that when you are getting into building your website, okay? Um, you know, the third plan they have, which is the best value, 19 bucks a month, all right? Um, obviously, there's tons of, of other, um, you know, features here check it out okay um they even you know they even give you a professional logo so if you're if you don't have the the budget to pay someone to create your logo this might be a plan for you okay it's the complete online branding and then finally vip would be 29 dollars a month so this one's really great because it has the priority support meaning if you really have never built a website before and you think you're going to be struggling you might want to pay the 29 dollars a month so someone from wix can support you in the process of you building your awesome new website for your small business all right guys so here we are with square space um, as you can tell this website builder looks a lot more simple to use and there is um this view and then there's obviously like a drag and drop view as well and just off the back i think this is a great website builder for someone who just started a small business and you're gonna go out there and build your own website i think it's a great second option for you if you're looking into that now looking at this website builder it looks a lot simpler than Wix. Wix had like this photo editor type of look to it, the, the website builder. Um, and things were kind of hidden. So you had to like roll over things and hover over things so you can see what, what it was and stuff like that. This one doesn't really have that. It's really straightforward. Um, obviously, like if I wanted to change, you know, the site title, um, you know, I can go here and put, uh, you know, sunrise yoga. I'm, I'm pretending I'm a yoga studio. Okay. So just work with me. Um, if, uh, if you have a logo, you can add it here, you know, etc. It's a lot easier to use just straight up. That's, that's what I'm here for to let you know the truth. It's easier to use in Wix, um, a lot simpler, but here is the cons. Um, you don't have the app market, so you don't have that leverage to make your website, um, 
grow with you or to add certain features that you'd like to add. I mean, it comes with um, everything like stock, right? So you get the template, you get what you get. Usually you have all the very basic stuff. So you, if you want a really basic website, you don't have these uh, extravagant features that you need on the website, then this might be for you. You know, let's say, like I said, you're a yoga studio. All you really need is, you know, a gallery of your yoga studio, list your services, have a blog, uh, put your social media, you know, something very basic, right? Squarespace, Squarespace will work for you. All right, straight up. But if you wanted to get really creative with it, it's not as easy to get creative with it. Um, it's just like Wix. You can replace everything. You can change the colors. You can change the font. You can add your pictures, you know, which again, I recommend work on your branding uh, from the very beginning, guys, and look good, both online and offline. Tip right there for this one. But um, if you wanted to, to get a little more uh, creative with Squarespace, it's not possible without code. So unless you know HTML and CSS and, you know, um, y specifically CSS for Squarespace, then if this might not be for you. Okay. If you want to get super creative and you want extra features and stuff like that, Wix is, is the one. All right, guys. Um, now do I have anything negative to say? Not really. Okay. Squarespace has beautiful templates that you can use to start off with. Um, they have a great service, um, overall. So let's go a little bit into the costs of Squarespace. Um, if you go on their website, it's pretty much hidden. They don't really um, have the pricing up at the top. You have to go way down to the footer and go over to pricing. Um, but if you click on it, you'll see that it's very affordable as well. Your, you know, your regular personal website plan is 12 bucks. Your business plan is 18 bucks. Um, they're both great for, for small businesses. They have different features, obviously. Um, they both come with your custom domain for the year. Um, what's really cool about Squarespace is that they provide you SSL security right off the back. So what's SSL security? Um, it pretty much is telling other people that your website is completely safe because it's, a, it's been, it's been secured completely. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to go into like the mumbo jumbo of, of a tech. Okay. But I'm just going to put it that way. Your website, it, it lets people know that your website is safe. So if you look at this, uh, pretty much what SSL security is is if you look up at the address bar on any um, on any browser it's gonna show a little locked uh, green sign like an icon and it's gonna say HTTPS okay so that that lets that right there a lot of people know about that and that lets people know that your website is completely safe uh, but it's not really needed unless you have like if you're selling stuff on your website and stuff like that um, so it's not right it's not like you need it but it is kind of like a trustworthy mark online and if you're selling products online you absolutely need needed um, <clears throat> if you're taking payments on your website. All right, guys, so here I am inside of WordPress.com. So this is a third option for you. And WordPress is also a great, great, great website builder, um, uh, just a website company overall, okay? So um, just to note, okay, there's, there's two WordPresses, all right? There's WordPress.com and there's WordPress.org. WordPress.com is meant for you, for a small business or um, an entrepreneur or an artist, musician, whatever you are. Um, you know, it's great for you because you're a beginner, you're just getting started, you want to build your first website, and <clears throat> it works, okay? So WordPress.com is for you. WordPress.org is for people such as me, who's going to build a website from scratch for you, and it's a free open source um uh, you know, website builder that we can use to create websites, but that requires a lot more technical, um, experience. And that's why, um, it's great if, if you're considering wordpress.org in the future, it's great to use wordpress.com because it's easier to export, um, things out of wordpress.com and import them into wordpress.org. So if you really are considering, um, taking your website, to another level in a year or two, WordPress.com might be the one for you. Okay. So anyways, I just wanted to make sure you understood that and that you understand that before we get into this. So looking at this, 
I mean, WordPress.com doesn't have the best UI. I'll tell you, it's a little, a little bit confusing, but if you can get around it, um, you'll be fine. Just like the other two, we got our cons. That's probably one. But I, right now I'm in the theme section because I'm going to go ahead and choose um, a theme for my website. Um, I really like, let me see. Let's try, I'm going to pretend I'm a blogger. So I'm going to go with Dara over here. And you know what? I really love the way it looks. I'm going to go ahead and activate this design. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm going to go customize the site. <clears throat> and right off the back, here we go. I'm ready to start designing my website. Um, I'm starting from scratch, but it's really easy to use as well. We have these little, these little points here where we can start editing everything if we'd like. Okay. Again, I'm not going to go into how to build a website with wordpress.com, but I'm showing you the back end so you can take a look as well. Um, over here to the side, we have the site, the site identity. So I can go in there and change, you know, this to, um, Dara's blog done. Um, <clears throat> colors and background. I can go ahead and uh, I can choose one of these colors for the background, right? Or we can just pick our own and go into here and kind of, I actually like the white background there. I'll leave that alone. But anyway, so you have all your options here on the side. You can click on these arrows. Um, these icons, I'm sorry, and, and start building your website with WordPress.com. And again, there's tons and tons of themes that you can use. That was just a one, um, tons of them here. Um, you can also, one of, one of the, the main core benefits of WordPress is its blog capabilities. And as, um, we know blogging is a very important. If you didn't know, here's a great SEO tip for you. Start blogging and stay consistent. Blog at least once or twice a month for SEO purposes, for Google purposes. You want to be found on Google? You might as well start blogging. All right. So that is a tip for this uh, section. Um, so yeah, so it has very, uh, very powerful blog mechanism in WordPress. Um, another thing is they also have, um, like Wix, Wix, they call it apps. With WordPress, they call them plugins. They have very powerful plugins that you can use with uh, your WordPress website. Um, talking about SEO, one of the main plugins you want to use for SEO purposes, if you want to grow online, is Yoast SEO. You can install that to your WordPress.com website. There's uh, Google Analytics. There's WooCommerce, which is uh, a great um, plugin for uh, you know your e-commerce site if you're going into that. There's you know contact forms. There's all sorts of different plugins that you can use, just like uh, the Wix. Okay, but the obviously the back end is a lot different. Um, I think it's a lot more simple than Wix again. I think WordPress.com beats them on that overall. Um, but yes, this is a great third option that you can use. All right, so let's go into pricing for WordPress.com. All right, so let's go down here. So for blogs and personal sites, for just blogging, it's $3 a month. For personal, it's $5 a month. For premium, it's $8 a month. And if we go over to business sites and online stores, which is probably where you're going to be if you're a business, it's $8 a month. That's where they start. They go up to 25. And finally, if you want an e-commerce site, it's $45 per month. Okay. So I think e-commerce wise, it is a little expensive, but I'm pretty sure it's worth it because they have a very powerful e-commerce um, system. And, and honestly, I think they're looking at the last two, they're the cheapest going for $8 per month. Now, the only difference is that I think Wix and Squarespace, I'm not sure about Squarespace, but they charge on a month to month basis. Okay. They're going to charge you yearly. So, you know, it's $8 per month, but you're going to be charged at a yearly base for that. Okay. But that's the pricing. Again, if you want to learn more about the features, you want to learn more about wordpress.com, then go visit them at wordpress.com. Alrighty. Here's your last option. Um, obviously not the last option, but the last option that we recommend, um, which is GoDaddy. Um, Obviously, if you started with your domain name and obviously GoDaddy is the number one place to go to purchase domains, um, you were probably offered um, the website builder by GoDaddy uh, to build a website. Now, this is my least 
uh, favorite out of all of them. Okay. But because I'm trying to put myself in your shoes, okay, not in the shoes of a website designer and developer, but I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. I think that this builder is um, also very easy to use. Um, I won't be able to show you the back end on this one, but it has really great features that I'll go ahead and go into. Um, so first off, it like every other website builder, it has beautiful templates that you can start off with and that you can use um, to uh, build your website. Um, it has uh, great marketing tools for you as well. You can um, start using, um, you know, Google AdWords, you can start using, uh, you know, social media on there and stuff like that. Um, you can also start working on your search engine optimization and uh, etc. Okay. Um, you can set up an online store if you wanted to e-commerce, just like the rest of them. Um, the great thing is the prices. Okay. Going into it, you know, you got your $5.99 a month, you got your $9.99, your $14.99, your $19.99. I think it's very affordable. If you really are looking for the most budget friendly one, it would be GoDaddy to start off with. Okay, guys, I don't recommend that you stay here, but it's a great place to start. Um, if you don't have um, the funds to hire someone to build a website for you or to um, get one of the other website builders. But again, it's a great place. They have great customer service. Um, GoDaddy's really fast to reply. Um, they all have different features, obviously every plan. Now let me tell you why it's the least of my, um, of my top four. Um, when I see a website built by GoDaddy, I know it's built with GoDaddy just because like it's a very, um, the templates are great. And if you know how to set them up and you know how to make them look good, they'll look good, but there's something about them that still looks a little unprofessional and I can't really describe to you it's just from a web designer's perspective um, but it still looks a little unprofessional it's not the best looking compared to the other three web builders um, I have used this web builder before because I have uh, fixed <laughs> websites for other people with GoDaddy because they didn't know how to enter they did they, they pretty much got fed up and they were like I don't know what to do with this website builder. Can you just go in there and fix it for me? I used to do that when I was a freelancer. I no longer do that anymore um, because they started requesting things that just were out of the scope pretty much of GoDaddy. Not with me, but with GoDaddy. There are certain things that you just can't do with GoDaddy. Um, I don't like that. Um, another thing that I don't like about GoDaddy is that you know you shouldn't have to pay extra to just have a paypal buy now button or a donation button or for integrating like some time of some type of of like how wix has apps or um or uh wordpress has plugins right sorry i'm getting a little slow here i've been talking for the last you know couple minutes with you but um, it's definitely, it doesn't have that power like Wix or WordPress. Um, it's right there with Squarespace where it's kind of missing that element. And again, I don't think that the templates look the most professional when you're done with them. Okay. So just something to keep in mind, but I think it's a great place to start if your small business was just getting started. And again, you don't have the budget, big budget, but you can spend a little. Okay. So definitely I would recommend GoDaddy especially because you're going to have that 24 seven support that I know you're going to need. All right, guys, there you have it. The four website builders that you can use to start building your website today. And again, if you need a website, you can go ahead and contact us. If you get frustrated with it and you can't take it any longer and you have the funds to do it, just get a hold of me uh, at Creative2 and we will help you out. If not, have a blast building your own website. Um, I give you high five virtual high five for doing it in the first place. It takes a lot of guts, a lot of learning curve. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope that you found this video helpful. Leave a comment below and let me know which website builder do you think